linebacker up at the top. They send Bauer number 81. And Keel's got a man in the middle of the field. Catch made inside the 30-yard line by Alex Chisholm. Keel, here's a tunnel screen. Well read by Houston. And man, that play was crushed. Read a snap. Keel hanging in that pocket. Receiver is open, and that'll be a first down. Inside the 15, there is a flag down. Referee. Offense, number two, 15 yard penalty. They're down. Has to play coverage or get after him. Looks like coverage, but here comes the safety. They get after him. Keel in trouble. Hit as he throws. That's him for now. Counting a couple already in this game. Keel under a lot of pressure. Line held up. Incomplete. The tight end, DJ Dowdy, could not hang up. This offense moves here with the weather. Well, turning for the worst. Yeah, Allison, hopefully you were able to find a good poncho to right. protect you out there as well. Keel, quick throw, long throw, and Washington unable to hang on. Coverage ability. Keel with all day to choose. He'll go deep again. Jump ball incomplete at the 30-yard line. Barry. And they'll they'll window dress it and show it and then back out. Keel. Out pattern caught at the 40-yard line. That'll be a gain of that puts one-on-one -on -one coverage and stresses the corners for the defense. Look out here as he throws it away. And it's going to be ruled an incomplete pass. As far as how they're going to get after the quarterback. Cincinnati ran out of time. Yep. Did they get a timeout in time? Play game. No. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Third down. And, and ten here. Quickly. Houston rushes four. Pockets there. F collapsing. Keel hit as he throws. And it's incomplete. The pressure that time. Keel. Lobs it and just caught 35-yard line. This is Holton. And he's dragged down on the great effort by Adrian McDonald, and Holton is shaken up a bit on the play. They're going to mark him down at the 25-yard line. William Jackson had the coverage, and he, he's the top cover guy for this Cougar defense, but he kind of opened the gate early on. And uh, this is uh, just a quick look off. Keel knew the whole way that he was going to throw it up and let his guy have a chance to make a play. And... Holton won that one right at the line of scrimmage when he beat to get ready to call the play and had to go back to get one more detail. That's time, though, to the end zone, and it is snatched out of the air. Touchdown. And right after we show you. <laughs> play action fake. Long throw, and the catch is made by Alex Chisholm. Day was it was a completion. It, it appeared to me the receiver uh, comes down with both feet. Chisholm both feet in bounds, and there he is, no question. And now we could not see whether he was juggling the football from that angle, but we got it here. And that, that my friend, is a catch. Sure looks like it. Uh, there's that whole big thing we've been talking about for a few weeks of completing the process of a catch. And it appeared that he did all of that. So we'll see if this call on the field of a catch and a first down is upheld or not. Yeah, and you can see there at the end of that when he still has control of the really seat for sure until we got a look at it. Yeah. Move. Under pressure, dumps it off. This is Green, and Green's a great runner. He'll get a first down, and he will get right to midfield. Another first down for Cincinnati. That's a pickup of 14. And he let Teon Green go in and score the touchdown. Ball dropped by Keel on that zone read. Green went one way. The ball went the other way, and it'll be a loss of a couple of yards. And to finish that story real quick, Teon Green kind of reevaluated his attitude, and he said it really changed the way he looked at things. And you see it, uh, it almost appeared to me there that Keel thought he had given the ball off. He flat out just separated his hands with the football still in. Pressure coming from Houston. Keel under the gun. He will throw it away. Incomplete. Keel. And that'll be the first third down conversion for Cincinnati this afternoon. 
So it's a first down for Cincinnati with an empty set backfield this time. Lobbed and stolen away by Green in a battle with McDonald. That's a great effort by Tion Green of going up and just wanting it more than what the other guy did. They just spread him outside. They put him in the number two receiver in a trips alignment. And how about Gunnar Keel? He's just throwing this thing up for grabs and counting on his guy making a play. And that's twice now Adrian McDonald has been out jumped for a football. And McDonald is a good one, too, a Thorpe semifinalist. Here's Green very patiently lost the football. It rolls into the end zone and picked up. Wait a minute. Scrambling. Looks like Houston has it. It is a touchback. Houston balls after this week. Right, Memphis next week. They do not play Temple unless maybe the championship game. And there is a nice throw from Keel and a breakaway by Nat Cole. Make that Nate Cole, not the singer, but Nate Cole to the 24-yard line. Tyus Bowser, who recovered the fumble earlier, is able to run all the way down the field. He covered a lot of ground to make the stop. I almost threw a king at you when you hit me with the Nat. But that's a great job of open field running after the defense. Keel. Through the traffic. I don't know how he fit it in. And that time Cole is king of the end zone. Touchdown, UC. He's going a 20-yard drive. In this quarter, Keel is 8 of 9 for 218. Hanging in. Make it 9 of 10 as the catch is made by Max Morrison. His first catch of the without the use of a timeout yet. There's more time. Keel, Morrison again underneath. He went the wrong way, comes back, and now I think they're going to have to take that timeout. Houston Blitzen. Got to break it up. He's going to go for it right here. He was hit, and it's knocked down by Lee Hightower. One lineman with a hand in the ground. A lot of people coming at him. Keel got hit again, and it's fourth down and two. Timeout. Play clock at three. To take the penalty. No, he's oh, he'll punt it. Quick kick. Yep. That's going to burn some clock, too. Smart decision. And that will just about take us to halftime. In fact, the, the officials are going to let it go. Now. Cincinnati hasn't even been on the field offensively because they tried an onside kick that the coach didn't call. Doesn't bother Gunnar Keel, though, to the 38-yard line. The catch made by Chris Moore. And... How do they channel that emotion and that frustration? Do they use it to make something productive happen, or does it work against them in more penalties? It's working against them now. The interception by Brandon Wilson to the 10, and he'll house a pick six. Thing, and here's your corner right here. And just watch. I mean, he's going to be in front of the receiver in perfect position with another man over the top. Now, I thought they would throw it underneath because they had the tight end, Dowdy, Keel had, had Dowdy wide open running to the flat. But that's so far underthrown. I, I got to think he didn't see him. He was trying to throw it to Shaq Washington, who was coming underneath. You see, Washington Boy, shows up late. Though. But that's just uh, an egregious error in judgment by Gunnar Keel. And I wouldn't be surprised, Dave, if we say, see Hayden Moore come out and take over this offense. Keel. He got cut down, but he got off a nice throw to McKay. He's stack formation on each side. Pressure coming from the safety. Keel gets rid of it, and he finds Morrison for a first down. Keel wants it all right here. Streak pattern just missed. Incomplete the 20-yard line for Chris Moore. Pressure again. Keel on the screen. Caught by Boone, but they're waiting for him. He got away from Roberts, but not from Bowser. That'll be a loss on the play. 14-14 tie at the half. Third and 13 for UC. Blitz coming. Keel is sacked. Trevon Stewart is in there. A little surprised at that. He looked wobbly to me. And that was a wobbly pass. He missed the game against UM and BYU. And a bye week thrown in there as well. But he's hanging in here, and that pass might have been deflected it by was. Tyus Bowser. So it's here it comes again. And once again, as Evans is safety! It's Stewart! Second time he sacked Keel! And Keel's got to be able to see this because 
it was tipped. Stewart came up, and this was a blitz that they ran a couple of weeks ago successfully against uh, Central Florida. But he's coming right up the middle. Keel's got to be able to see that. And it was an overload. There was nobody left to pick up Stewart. And that's the beauty of this blitz. When they run it up the gut like that with a, a middle linebacker, the two inside linebackers crossfire in front of it, and that gets picked up. That eats up the running back. There's no one left home to pick up Stewart, so he becomes on the quarterback. That That's Keel's guy that he has to either get rid of the football or get out of Going to shoot at it. And the catch is made at the 35-yard line by Chris Moore. We have seen as well. So you see there's the two linebackers crossing each other. Picked up extremely well. It gave Keel the time to throw the ball. And Moore got inside position. And then he landed on Jackson's leg and, and getting down there in scoring position. The late blitz. He's going to fire again. And it, are the feet down? Yeah. Down. So well, you know what? We're, we're moving. moving. We're moving. Same guy, 24-yard line, McKay. And on Jeremy Winchester, the replacement for Jackson. Now they go the other way and almost. Second about that, Chris, thank you very much. Talking about Oklahoma State here in a second. We saw him last week. The keel is going for the end zone, and it is caught. On my screen, he's got company. There it is. He does go underneath. Washington makes the turnaround of the grab. Who's got the football? Well, the officials want to see, and they signal Cincinnati. Plays 99 yards in a minute and 29 seconds. And here's a wildcat, and now a reverse. Jack Washington looking to throw for Keel, and he's open for two. What a play. How about that design? Wow. A little razzle-dazzle. It was almost like the old longest yard play. <laughs> I saw the movie last night where the quarterback is acting like he's not involved. There's Keel, and he's making a change of call, uh, supposedly, to the line, and it's a direct snap, and then a pitch back to Shaq Washington, who had great pos uh, patience to zip that ball out to the edge to Gunnar Keel, who made a nice route adjustment. It wasn't the best form of I've ever seen of a guy throwing a football, but it was a strike. I don't understand what happened right now with that old Miss group. Gunnar Keel, play action fake. He'll take the underneath to the tight end, DJ Dowdy, and Dowdy will get out. Blitz, Keel, sack. Back at the 46-yard line by Stewart again. And again, number 23. He's coming. Keel, funny-looking throw. Oh, it's stolen out of the air by Chisholm. And he dropped it. Yes, he did. As he Three, two, here they come. Keel. Oh, he's got a man here, McKay. He dropped it at the 20-yard line. A flag is down. Oh. Brandon Wilson on the coverage. McKay had a step. And let's see. And Wilson, he was going to be hit with P.I. And Wilson got beat and had his eyes in the backfield. Going to be on Wilson. Here they come again. Keel. It was picked up. Middle of the field, and that's going to be an overthrow. That's really good. Team passes defended on the year. Pretty good. Yeah. Here they come again. <laughs> Stewart almost got a fourth sack. Tipped it. Intercepted Ten. by Steven Taylor. And that play was forced again by Trevon Stewart. Hey, he's just lining up on the slot. Team to go. More pressure, this time from the edge. Keel in trouble. Look out here, he'll throw it away. And that radar look again with only one hand in the dirt. This time they bring a lot more than four, but it's picked up, and that gives Keel a chance to hit Shaq Washington for the first down. One from Gunner Keel, but it still got there in time. Nine plays at 20 yards or more from Keel. They go to the ground, and Hosey Williams, and Williams bounces around for about five. Quarterback throw for well over 500, 550, and lose the ball game. He's going to add to that 440-yard total with Nate Cole making the ground. Protect, we pick up the blitzes, and we find the open guy. Well, here they come again. Keel off the back foot. Oh, what a diving grab by Morrison for the first down. A good matchup for Cincinnati at the bottom of the screen. Keel going to keep it. 
How about that? Uh, I wasn't looking for that in right? the playbook. Blitz picked up Keel. Oh, look at the adjustment made by the receiver. Touchdown, Chris Moore. He followed that football all the way, and Keel took another shot after he threw it. And that was the matchup I referenced on the previous play, and they had it again where you've got Chris Moore working on the redshirt freshman Jeremy Winchester, who's in this ball game since William Jackson got hurt. And who got the shot on Keel but Trayvon Stewart, number 23? Yeah, this was that uh, from off blitz from the safety where he starts literally 10 yards from the line of scrimmage and takes off in a hurry. And he... Keel, hang it in. Throw. Oh, and that was dropped. Wilson in coverage, although I do believe it should have been caught. They rush three again. Keel's got time. He's got Moore, who broke away from Wilson to the 41, maybe the 42-yard line. That mentioned the wins here. Shifty. Keel under pressure. He wants Washington. It's knocked away. That looked like Lee. He's in the slot. They rush four this time. Keel. There's Lewis. And it was underthrown, actually hit. Now they back down. Keel. Washington can't make the grab. Fourth down. 